Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. Let's talk about the Tracks panel in Adobe Audition. When you're working with a lot of tracks, it can be difficult trying to find the tracks you want. And whether it's a music project like I have here or a video project that's been moved into Audition that has things like uh, natural sounds and sounds effects, dialogue, music, submixes, all of those things together. Sometimes you just want to isolate some of those tracks and work on them. Well, that's what the tracks panel is for. You can create any selection of, uh, of isolated tracks and jump to them quickly. Let's go have a look. So right now you can see in this project, I've got quite a few tracks. I could zoom out over here, but still when I zoom out, I still can't see all of them at the same time. So in the window menu, there's a tracks panel. And this is a floating panel. You can place this wherever you want. I'm going to dock mine to the left-hand side. Now, if you're not used to docking, if you grab the name of this, and if you click and you see the blue show up on the left, not in the middle, that will dock it behind here. But if I move it over to here, I'll dock it on the side. Now I'll grab the right-hand side and just drag it over. So the names of these tracks are the names that I've given to the tracks over here. And you can see we've also got those names in the mixer. If you click on the little flyout menu, go to track visibility, the first choice is to make sure that track visibility settings apply to the mixer. So if you're going to isolate the, the visible tracks in the timeline, well, maybe you also want those in the mixer, or maybe you always want the mixer to be full. That's up to you. I'm going to leave that selected so that whenever I isolate tracks here, they'll also be isolated in the mixer. You can load and save, and you can see loading is up to nine presets, and I've set uh, the first four, and it's shift one uh, to four. You can save them, which is adding the Alt key on Windows or the Option key on Mac, and you can hide a selected track with Alt H or Option H on the Mac. You can show all the tracks, which are already shown, so I don't need this uh, selected. You can show only the audio tracks, only the bus tracks. Show only the tracks with clips. Show only the tracks with clips within the time selection. And show clips in the CTI, which is basically the playhead. Now, I've got a pretty big selection here, but if, if I did have something uh, that was just under the playhead, then I could choose show only tracks under the CTI and they would be the ones that would show up. You can see on the left hand side, there are a couple, this particular one here. So you can see that one's hiding. If I turn that one on, you can see that track is over here. So making that choice is gonna hide that particular one because it's not under the playhead. But if I move my playhead over to that section, now it's going to show up because it's under that. So this is great if, if you're working on a section and you have the playhead here and all of the related audio is within that playhead. Uh, so this is a good command to isolate just that stuff. And it might be this track, that track, and those tracks way down here in the bottom. So that's a good one to know. Okay, so as I said, I've already set up my, my presets uh, to show this. So with Shift 1, I've set it up to show all of the tracks. Shift 2, I've got it set up to only show the vocal tracks and the vocal effects tracks. Again, this could be dialogue. This is a music project, but if this was all of your dialogue and it was on multiple tracks, uh, then you could have it show. It's up to you, too. So if this was dialogue and submixes that, had, uh, that, that the dialogue was going to, then you could be showing those, too. Number three, I've got my um, keyboards. And number four, I've got the rhythm track. And you'll notice that the track uh, is a little bit wide here. So if I move my mouse over here and, and drag up and down, I scroll through. But if I move my mouse here and do the same, I'll collapse these tracks. So when I built this, I was on my 27 inch uh, LG 4K display over there. And it's a little bit different on my 15 inch Dell laptop. So I'm gonna be on my laptop. I wanna update that, that setting. So I could go back in and save that setting. 
or I could have just used those keyboard shortcuts. So now when I get out of there, here's three, there's four. You can see there's the right size. I'll do that again for three. I'll collapse that and I'm holding Alt Shift three or it would be Option Shift three. And now when I go between those, you can see that they're updated. So when I'm playing this track, It's not muting those tracks, so it's just hiding the tracks. I can still hear everything. So if I wanted to, I could solo these. And of course, I've got the mixer set up too, so the mixer could have those same settings. So it's just showing those tracks. If I go back over here and turn that off, then you'll see all of the mixer tracks, but here I'll still have just those tracks showing up. A little keyboard shortcut here. If you hold the control and shift or command shift on Mac and click on solo. So that's just a quick way to um, unsolo the whole thing or unmute it, add control shift or command shift on the Mac. So that is your new tracks panel. Uh, I think it's pretty cool. Yeah, one last thing I wanted to show you is that I, I've already built these, but if you wanted to, you could select all and you see how they're, they're grayed. If I wanted to, for instance, uh, just have the percussion, if I hold the control key or command on Mac and just click on my percussion, and now when I hold Alt and click, I'll turn all of those off and leave these on. Okay, so that's just an easy way to select only four instead of deselecting a heck of a lot more. All right, if you're new to Video Revealed and you found this informative, take a moment and subscribe. If you'd like to support us some more, we're making it easy through PayPal. There's a link in the description and on the front of the channel, you can donate once or monthly and you can be part of our wonderful PayPal supporters. They're fantastic. I love them. They really help us keep going here on Video Reveal. All right. Thanks again to Duran Gleaves for all of his help at Adobe. He's a product manager for Adobe Audition. Whenever I send him my quick questions before a tutorial, he's always there to answer. So thanks a lot, buddy. All right. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to get you looking and sounding your best.